Hey, in uh, this video, we are going to show you some different ways to repair uh, fabric. Uh, we've got a couple different uh, scenarios to show you, different ways of uh, uh, puncturing fabric or ripping fabric, and show you some different techniques for repairing them. Uh, what do we got here, Brad? Some silicon coated spinnaker and some ripstop nylon, and then we've got a down jacket that we've got a couple uh, punctures and rips in, and we'll show you some different ways to repair those. So why don't you start uh, by puncturing some All fabric. Right. So whether this be like your lightweight wind jacket, pair of rain pants, it can be waterproof, it can be non-waterproof, tent fly material. You walk by somewhere and you get a tear. Something like this happens. I mean this happens to every single person's jacket at some point where that happens. <clears throat> There's Montbell repair sheets out there for a quick easy fix. You can use duct tape. Oh here, I've got some um, duct tape. Duct tape works well for a nice, quick, easy fix in the backcountry. And duct tape is something you should always, always have. have in your repair kit. I usually try and keep, you know, several feet with me at all time. And in my backcountry kit, I, it's probably six feet. I just peel it off, fold it up. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. And I uh, always carry it with me. And, and I've used it numerous times for quick, temporary fixes. And on something like a, uh, a down jacket or something, Brad, if you're using duct tape, uh, it's a great temporary fix. Uh, you know, we see lots of customers coming in the store with duct tape on their jackets. Uh, it's it's not a permanent fix. It will come off a little bit easier than what a tenacious tape. And the downside will do. to it, when you pull it off, it does pull a lot of the down out with it because the down is stuck to the back of the duct tape. And it leaves residue behind also. Yeah, yeah it leaves a bad residue that you really can't get out without laundering without fixing the tear permanently. So, my personal weapon of choice is going to be the tenacious tape because it is tenacious. It sticks almost like a permanent fix. There's been a lot of times where I have had like little ember holes or tears in tent flies or rain jackets that this is all I've needed. Basically all you do is get it flat, put this over the top of it. You can try and get it as closed up as you can. Use a little bit of pressure just to kind of push down on that and you have an incredibly strong fix on the fabric. I mean it's really Quite and it's stuff. flexible as well. Very, very flexible. And if you're going to do this like on a tent fly, just to make sure you don't get a leak throughout the whole night, I do one on the back side as well. Uh, they do make the Tenacious Tape in different colors of fabric to match the different colors of tent flies out there. Here at Prolite Gear, we just stock the clear because it works for everything. You don't have to worry about a color on something else. And for me, I've got a lot of those on my shelters that look just like this because this is the, the only fix I needed. Or, if you have something that happens like in a tent fly, like... Oh, hey, before you move on, now, if you were to want to repair that a different way once you got back home, Just you can remove the tenacious tape and yep. it doesn't leave as much of a residue behind. Right. How many of you have been outside in the woods? Can you hold up that piece of spinnaker for me, Craig, kind of tight? We're going to simulate an ember hole from a campfire near your tent. So we're just going to do this. Just run it right through. There we go. I mean, that's kind of what you end up getting. I don't know. Can you see that chain yep. on camera? Okay. Those little ember holes. You can take the tenacious tape, and this is still nylon, so it's going to be a different fabric than this, so it's going to have a little bit different property when this stuff sticks to it. But you can see the tenacious tape sticks right to sill nicely as well, and that's an almost permanent fix. If you wanted to, you could put this piece of uh, tenacious tape on the back side so you have the hole in the front. And then take some UV Cure Aqua Seal or some Seam Grip. My favorite is the UV Cure because it hardens in 15 seconds. Puddle it over that, just kind of rub it in, and then let the light hit it, and you've got a permanent fix no matter what. Hey, you know, one thing with anything that's silicon coated, if you've just got a small puncture, uh, all you need to do is just kind of rub your finger back and forth across it. If it hasn't, uh, damaged any of the fibers, the, the threads in the material, it will seal itself back up just yep. by rubbing your fingers. You kind of want to rub it back and forth so your fingers get hot and it's that heat that kind of spreads out that silicone evenly again. So you can kind of fix little tiny, tiny, like pinprick punctures pretty quickly. And then I will let Craig talk about the down jacket. All right, so frequently you're going to uh, get a hole in your down jacket. Perfectly uh, fine in the field just to use tenacious tape or, or duct tape. Uh, to fix it when you're in the field. Uh, a more permanent solution, let's see here, I've fixed this one once before, here we go, is to uh, just take a needle and thread, something that I usually have with me 
in my emergency kit anyway. And uh, just pull the uh, two pieces of the fabric together and just do, what, what do you call it Brad, a running whip stitch I guess? Yeah. To uh, put those together and then take some seam seal and go over the top of it. And your seam seal is what's going to actually give you your uh, more permanent fix. Uh, just the thread alone isn't going to be as permanent as adding the seam seal. Um, there is a difference between the UV cure and the normal air dry ones. The UV cure yeah. uh, is a little bit stiffer, so we don't suggest using the UV cure. Is that right. correct? You can use the UV cure in the field if it's a it's a if it's a need situation, like you're out for a couple weeks and just has to get fixed. If you can wait to use needle and thread when you get home, do that because the uh, the UV cure is really brittle, and if it ha you can't flex it like this without it kind of cracking. So the regular Aqua Sealer seam grip really is much more pliable. It does, a, it does a great job at fixing all these little tiny rips and tears and things. And we'll show you this real quick. This is uh, the same jacket, but uh, this is a puncture that goes all the way through. Um, and, you know, you can... Uh, actually, I did this in the field and I used uh, uh, duct tape to seal it until I got back. But something like this, on an edge like that, you know, you're going to want to use a needle and thread to sew it up and then uh, put the seam seal on it. Take like a tent stake and push the down away from where you're going to be sewing or you can use your finger to kind of get the down away from where you're going to be at and then use the needle and thread to loop everything together and then throw some seam grip across the top just to kind of keep things. I don't want to embarrass myself by trying to sew for you guys when we're on camera so uh, yeah this is what it will look like when you're done. It does leave a little bit of a, a scar I guess where you can see it but in terms of aesthetics it's a pretty low visibility repair mm -hmm. and tenacious tape in the clear is a, is a very low visibility Oh yeah I mean you repair. can you can barely see that on that fabric at all. Okay, so I think let's wrap up this video. Oh, if, and if, you, if you're not comfortable doing any of these repairs yourself to a high-end garment, something in the Gore-Tex, the Event, the Polartec Neo Shell range, uh, there's a company out of Seattle called Rainy Pass, which has all the seam tapers, everything that you need to have a professional job done. They're very affordable. So this, this isn't the end of your jacket. It can be almost brand new again. Just send it to Rainy Pass. Those guys do a great job. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. If you have any questions on any of this, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Phone number is 406-582-0508 and email is service at prolightgear.com. Thanks for watching.